Yep. Black Girl Stock's official merch is now live, so you can either scroll down and click underneath this video, or you can go over to teesprings.com. We have t-shirts, different colors, different sizes, crew necks, sweatshirts, and I got the MACD tee specifically for my fellas. What's up, fellas? Go ahead, get the socks, make an outfit out of it. Get rich, stay rich, everything positive. You already know how we do. So go ahead, check out Black Girl Stock's official merch. What's up YouTube? This is Foxtail Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the stock options break even price. This is a really basic topic, so this video is gonna be pretty short. But first, if this is your first time watching this video, please make sure that you click that thumbs up button. It really helps bring more people to the channel. Also, make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. Also, if you're new to options trading and you're kind of stuck on what stocks to trade options on, there's a service called Tiblio, and Tiblio offers amazing stock option picks as well as credit spreads for you. So they're gonna send you uh, a new list every morning for the credit spreads, and they're gonna update their bullish action scanner. So basically that just scans for for call options that are uh, very bullish on the ask, meaning that people are paying top dollar for them, they really wanna get in, so uh, those are gonna be very lucrative call options. So if you're interested in that, please make sure to check them out. Uh, they're constantly updating the list with the best stock picks, so make sure to check out Tiblio. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, so let's get right into it. What is the break-even price? What does it mean? Why is it there? Is it something that I should be worried about? The break even point of an option trade is the point at which a contract would be cost neutral or just think of a balancing out of the earnings versus the purchase amount so if the option owner were to exercise it like i said buying those 100 shares then it's really important to consider the premium that you pay to get into the contract on top of the strike price that you pick when you're calculating the break even point okay i know i'm throwing a lot i'm talking here i'm talking there look you'll want to know the break even point of your option trade before you buy it with options you have the right to buy or sell 100 shares of the stock right we all know that so you have a call option and a call option will gain value and profit from the stock going up. On the opposite, a put option is gonna gain value from the underlying stock price going down. The difference between stock share profits and option profits is that the options require an initial premium payment that you have to think about before you even get into the trade. When you wanna calculate your potential profit in an option trade, the first thing that you're gonna wanna know is how much you actually need to make in order to pay off that premium and start gaining pure profits, baby. I'm talking pure gains. So just remember this. For calls, you'll need to find your break even by adding the option premium to the strike price, okay? And then for puts, you're just going to subtract the premium from your strike price, all right? So let's talk more about the call options. When you buy a call option, you have rights to buy 100 shares of whatever stock that is at a certain price, a discount price. That's your strike price, okay? So as a result, the option increases in value when the stock price moves up. After the stock price moves above the option strike price, the option has what you call intrinsic value, which increases as the stock continues to rise. Intrinsic value is basically value that something has in itself or for itself. This has value because the stock price being above the strike price has value in that it'll always be a cheaper price than what the market is actually trading at that time. Call options with strike prices below the price of the stock are referred to as in the money. So for your call option to be profitable at expiration, it must stay above the strike price plus your initial premium. That's your break even. So the break even for a call option is call strike price 
plus call purchase premium. After a stock's price is at the options break even level, it can continue to rise indefinitely forever. The call option can keep rising up until expiration. And once that happens, the call options profits are considered to be unlimited. So that's why um, when you're trading in, if you guys are using Webull, when you trade in Webull and you look at your stock option statistics and it says maximum profit, maximum loss, and you'll see unlimited, that just means that there's no cap to that. It can go as far as the stock goes. So similar to outright buying a stock share. Now let's talk about put options for a little bit. So when you buy a put option, you have rights to sell 100 shares of whatever stock that is at a certain price, the strike price. As a result, the option increases in value when the price moves down. After the stock moves down below the option strike price, the option has intrinsic value, which increases as the stock continues to fall. Put options with strike prices above the actual market price of the stock are referred to as in the money. So for your put option to be profitable at expiration, it needs to stay below the strike price plus your initial premium. The break even for a put option is put strike price minus put purchase premium. Say that five times fast, geez. Okay, so I wanna use NIO for this. Let's look at, okay. And then I want to go for an in the money call for this. So this is a call, February 5th. I wanna go for in the money. Looking at it right here, I, I'm just gonna pick a quick one for this. It's, it looks red, you know, that means that uh, it actually, this option contract didn't do so hot today um, for this stock, it actually dropped 20%. That's not good, but I really just wanna use an example. So looking at this, the actual stock price right now is $54.13. You have your strike price of $54.13 and then you have a premium of $6.03 per share. So when you want to get your break, even, even though they already give it to you, you know, just know that for this one, you would just add that $54 to the $6.03 and then that's gonna give you your, um, your break even price. So from where it is right now, this stock would have to increase by 10% before you're able to start making profits and pay off this, this money that you're gonna have to pay for the premium. And so this is how much that the underlying stock is going to need to go up to before you actually start making money with this option contract because you do pay that premium first. And so this is for cause and it's gonna be essentially the opposite for puts, so I mean, this one is green because it was profitable today. And yeah, so for the puts, we want the stock to drop. So anything above the strike price is in the money. Um, so for this one, I'll just pick closest one. Uh, this is gonna be a strike price of $54.05 with a premium of $3.10. So when you add those together, you're going to have a break even price of $51.40. So this stock will have to decrease by 4.90. Oh, it's, I think this is already profitable. Yeah, it was up 100%. 100%. So this one, yeah, put would definitely be good for NIO right now um, because it's in a downtrend. So that's one way that you can think about it. Just think about the break even price being the price that that stock needs to touch or the area that that stock needs to be in before you actually start making your money back from um, these call options. So with that being said, I told you guys that this is going to be a fairly short video. I'm actually waking up a little bit early to film this before I go into work. So I'm very tired. Um, nobody cares about that. Y'all don't want to hear about this. Shit. But yeah, um, also I just wanted to thank you guys so much if you're new to the channel for subscribing. I believe that we just hit 40,000 subscribers. Uh, so thank you guys so much for all of the love and support that you are showering me with and pouring into me. All I can do is do my best to bring you guys good content, great videos, and hopefully help you on your trading journey so that you feel more comfortable with trading stocks and you know just going out there and, and grabbing your bags, grabbing your coins all of those things and with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up um, so thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video all right